In today's video, we're going to go over 10 rules of good UI design to follow on every web design project. Number one, make everything the user needs readily accessible. Whether it's a series of design tools for web design apps, the inventory for a character in a video game, a spreadsheet, or anything else, if the user can't find what they want, they bounce off your software. In Divi, tabs are used to organize all the tools you need. If you use WordPress, the admin toolbar gives you the ability to quickly get to the post editor, theme customizer, plugin settings, and so on. Another example is help options. In every Divi module, we have the support button available everywhere. On top of that, our help window pops up with a video tutorial on whatever feature you're working with. By including this in module, Divi becomes far more accessible and less frustrating. Number two, be consistent. Don't have the menu on top of one page and at the bottom of another. Don't rearrange menu items every time it loads. Make sure that your users know where things are on your site. Consistency also includes your fonts and designs from page to page. Additionally, you should make sure that your UI is proper for your platform. Desktop sites have different needs than mobile sites for menus, galleries, and even product checkout. Number three, be clear. Clarity means that you want your users to know what to do at all times. People are not confused about the purpose of any site or page because there is no clutter. One way to achieve clarity is to move from one step to another on different pages. Instead of having a checkout process scroll down the page, have your users navigate from a product page to a shopping cart page to a checkout page, etc. Just like Amazon. They will know exactly where they stand in the process, eliminating any uncertainty. Number four, give feedback. The last thing that users want is to not understand what is going on. If they press a button, provide an indication that the button was pressed. Loading icons provide feedback without having to say it. If you allow users to upload files, give an indication of time remaining. Providing a pop-up or modal that tells them their action was a success reduces frustration and confusion. Number five, use recognition, not recall. You want your users to recognize everything about your site when they see it. They shouldn't have to think about it and recall the information. More than anything, you are streamlining your interface so that every part is intuitive and moves from one point to another. This can be done by using recognizable icons. You may also be able to accomplish this through well-placed messaging that reminds your users what on your site does what. Number six, choose how people will interact first. You know what's the worst? Pushing on a pull door, especially when you just pushed on a previous one to get to that one. That building's designer made the user interface inconsistent, so you had no clue how to do what you needed to do. What about pressing something that looks like a button that isn't, but waiting for a response anyway? Well, that's because those designers didn't take into consideration how their users were going to interact with their product. So when you're designing your UI, pick one movement and stick with it. Number seven, follow design standards. People know that question marks indicate help, so don't use an exclamation point. If you want users to find your mobile menu, use the hamburger icon, not a grid. Think about search bars. They tend to be in similar places on most sites, so if you had put it in a hard to find spot, users won't know where to look. There's nothing wrong with thinking outside of the box, but that shouldn't mean the design is hard to use. Number eight, elemental hierarchy matters. You wanna make sure that the most important functions are at the top of their respective pages. This kind of hierarchy can lead the user down the page organically. Making use of white space is also important, as clutter can stall user progress and draw the eye away from the purpose of the page. Clean lines, lots of space, and well-defined elements can visually indicate to your users how to move through your UI without any documentation or annotation. Number nine, keep things simple. Take a look at these two examples. Both are contact forms to make a request. One of these is no problem to fill out, while the other is just a bit more of a headache. Your job is to make things as frictionless for the user as possible. And one of the best ways to do that is to cut out anything that's not absolutely necessary. Number 10, keep your users free and in control. The last thing you wanna do with your UI is to make them feel confined or restricted by your design. There are two parts to this rule, context and permission. First, whatever action the user needs to take should be located near what they want to act on. If they need to edit a post, the edit button should be near the save, publish, submit, preview buttons. Additionally, your UI should always make the user feel as though they can get out of or revert any action they take. Doing this can be as simple as adding a cancel button to every page of your e-commerce checkout. Or maybe it's just an undo feature so they feel that experimentation is okay. So there you go. Those were 10 rules of good UI design. 
Do you have any rules of good UI design that you always follow? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.